Hi guys, I am bringing you along for a favorite meal of mine for lunch um, this time of year. It's a great use up for leftover turkey too. So this is what I call a cranberry brie turkey quesadilla. So down on my pan here, I'm placing a tortilla. I'm using the Tortilla Land raw tortillas. Um, they just happen to be what I like best. And on one side of this, I'm going to put a little bit of brie cheese. And brie is gooey and melty, so you don't need a ton of it. It's going to go a long way. On the other side of this, I'm going to put a little of my homemade cranberry sauce. You can use whatever cranberry sauce you love. This is just what I'm using. See all those whole cranberries in there? I love that. And I make a cranberry orange sauce. It's not just straight up cranberry. Um, I like the way the citrus cuts through the sweetness in the cranberry sauce. Now to this I'm going to add a few slices of deli turkey. I really prefer to have this with homemade Thanksgiving turkey but I have not made a Thanksgiving turkey yet so that kind of causes a little problem in me being able to do that. So there's my turkey on there. And I'm just going to let that sit for a few minutes and let the cranberry sauce and the brie start to melt. Um, even though it's a tortilla land, raw tortilla, when I make quesadillas with those, I don't flip them to cook both sides of the tortilla. The tortilla is going to cook through. It just isn't going to be browned on the inside, and I'm fine with that because then all these ingredients kind of meld into the tortilla. So I'll bring you guys back in just a second when I go to fold this over. Okay guys, my tortilla is starting to brown. I'm going to fold this in half so that the cranberry side is down because my brie is already getting melty and lovely and that sizzle is just from the turkey and this isn't a quesadilla that I want to go in and squish you know um, because brie will definitely run out and make a little bit of a mess I'm gonna leave it on this side for just a minute and then I'll flip it to the other side for just a minute and this is just to make sure that the turkey gets good and warm through. Um, oh, look at that good color on there, guys. This is going to be so yummy. Like I said, this is one of my favorite meals this time of the year. Now, if you don't like brie cheese, you could use Gouda. You could use Monterey Jack if that's what you like. It, pepper Jack would be really good in this. The... The pepper would juxtapose the cranberry sauce very well. It would be really yummy. Um, or if you like blue cheese, you could use blue cheese for this as well. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and pull him on out of here. We'll set him over here. Let's see. Try to lift you guys up so you can see what's going on. I'm just going to cut it in half so you guys can see what we got going on. Hmm. Guys, look at that. Oops, we're dripping. We got brie going everywhere. Mm. So we got cranberry sauce and turkey and brie. It couldn't be any better, guys. If you like this kind of video, guys, make sure to subscribe, give me a like, and um, I will be back with more yummy, nummy things that you can do with your Thanksgiving leftovers as we get closer to Thanksgiving. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye!